Medieval 2, Total War. Or am I playing Rome 1, Total War? <laughs> this is a new mod and I'm super excited to cover it. There's loads of interesting stuff that I am going to scatter throughout the video, so make sure to stay tuned throughout so you don't miss anything. This is Medieval 2 Total War, but it has Rome converted into it. We're going to start today as the Julii, and look at this best infantry in the world, yet fields a poor variety of cavalry units. Urban cohorts. Oh, just look at the map. And is that the... I think it... I think it's using the remastered icons, is it? I, I cannot tell. Yeah, I think these are the remastered ones as well. But you know what? I'm going to say it. This is more in line with the Rome remaster that I think we all wanted. I don't know if I'm wrong to say that, but I'm starting to lean that way. Let's load in and take a little look. Oh! It has for videos. I hate goals. Well, we've seen it all before. And it's got the Rome Total War quotes as well. This is all Medieval 2, by the way. So if you don't have Rome 1, or cannot get the original Rome 1 working, but cannot stand the remaster because of the UI, but you have Medieval 2, this is the mod for you. Alright, some people like United Rome. Some people prefer Divided Rome. I'm going to click on Decline because I want to keep it divided. Uh, that's how I prefer it, and that's what I want to see, but you can unite it if you want to. And, ooh, Persia. You know what? Nah, we, we don't need Persia in here. And here we are. We've got a Vectium here. <laughs> this is all medieval too. I'm curious how the Senate works. Hmm, if it works at all, I'll have a little look around with that. We've got our Diplomat. Let, let's, let's talk with the Gauls. Uh, we'll get some trade rights, map information, and uh, let's get a couple K gold or something. Something like that. That's balanced. Ooh. You know what? I'll take 960. We've got our spies here. I want, does it have merchants? Ooh, that would be cool. Okay, now we cannot see the Romans. In the original Rome, you can see their territory because it's in the same super faction. Uh, but I cannot hear, so... I'll send an army down and see what we can do. It might... Yeah, okay, so we can start the Civil War turn one. You know what? Someday I will do a serious Let's Play on this mod. And I will do that. Civil War turn one. Uh, but on Medieval 2. Right, let's put Suggestive under Siege. Uh, we'll, we'll keep it under Siege for now. I want to have a look at some of these buildings. So yeah, we've got our stables here, equites, or oh, max available too. Oh, it's, yeah, because it's bringing over all Medieval 2 mechanics, isn't it? We've got chivalry and loyalty and piety instead, and our faction leader will have, I am assuming, yep, authority in there. Oh, wow. I'm assuming we cannot change faction air. Nah, looks like we cannot do that, so it does also come with some of Medieval 2's limitations. I did see something here when I clicked on the settlement. Ah, yes. So, it's brought over the religion mechanic, but turned it into a culture mechanic. So we have Roman culture, or Roman religion, I guess, because it works like Medieval 2 religions. Uh, Greek, Eastern, uh, Barbaric, and Wild. Unfortunately, we do have only one temple building, the Shrine of Mars. That is so weird, loading into Rome Total War, and this is the screen you get. Okay, so the upgrade is for walls, not for government buildings. Okay, keep that in mind. Yeah, so we've got our barracks here. It's all here. I wonder if it has Marian reforms. I'm sure it will. And it's got all, like, the max units you can get, so as you upgrade it, you get more of the units in the stock. We've got our usual ports as well. Yeah, so we only have one temple option here. Uh, but this is what it does at max. And it also converts the culture over. So it is a religious building as well. We get experience from the Pantheon of Mars. Uh, health and increased trade. So that's all good. Military Academy. Interesting. Requires an army barracks. Uh, we get a lot of experience there though. 6 XP. Oh, that's good. I honestly cannot wait to play around with this in a more serious level. This is just an overview today. I just want to show it off. 
Uh, speaking of showing it off, let's reveal the fog of war. But someday I will be doing streams, let's plays and all of that office mod, even AI only campaigns. So we got the SPQI here, the Scipii, the Brutii, the Greeks, oh look at those walls, look at those walls, they are stunning, oh, we got the Numidians, um, who do we have over here? Yeah, we've got all, all of our rebels in, and just to remove Fog of War for a second, it's even got that medieval two, two mechanic as well, uh, the extra layer of Fog of War. Uh, we've got the Germans up here, uh, the British. Does it have the weird Amazon settlement, Hyperborea? Yes, it is. But it's all on, on the medieval two map, technically. Uh, so things are a little moved around. It goes a little further north, for example, up to Finland here. And it's got all of Britain in as well, which I am not going to complain about. The modder did add in Illyria, just one extra faction, I think. Oh, we might have another one. I can see them down there. I'll check them out soon. That might be Persia. Yeah, so you can have an option to have Persia in or not. Yeah, so we've got the Illyrians here. Oh, I've got to do an Illyria let's play at some point. Uh, Macedon, uh, the Greek cities in Sparta, the Seleucid Empire. Pontus, just quickly check out Scythia up here. I do like those settlement designs. Yeah, those are nice. Uh, Dacia, we got Parthia, Armenia, and is this Persia? Yes, yeah, so we do have a Persian here in Babylon and Egypt over here. I'm going to check later on to see if it is a Bronze Age or a Hellenistic Egypt because I don't even know myself at this point. Let's take a look at these units. So we got one Principes. Uh, Astarte, Peasants and Town Watch, but we cannot just like spam them like we can in the original RAM because it has the same limitations and look at this here. These are highlighted in blue, meaning we're getting free upkeep out of those. Let's see, yes, free upkeep units allowed, free. So we can have three units in here that we don't pay upkeep on. So if we put another one in there, yep, also blue, but if we put in a fourth one, Nah, we have to pay for the fourth one. Oh, Ludatorix up here as well. Rest in peace, Ludatorix. You were a great YouTuber. Let's build a watchtower here. A thousand gold for thought, I think I saw. Yeah, so we can keep an eye on the AI. And let's march in now and just take Suggester. Let's see how the battles work out. What are we up against here? Warband, peasants and skirmishers. Should be an easy win, we've got her start to Triarii Archers. Let's get into this. And of course it's Medieval 2, so it just keeps giving us fog. There we go. Oh, look at this settlement. Custom settlement, is not custom settlement design. Um, Unique settlement design. I think this is from the Teutonic campaign. I did not expect that. Okay, that makes me very happy. This should make these battles so much more enjoyable. Uh, we can capture prisoners as well, I see, down at the bottom there. Ooh, this mod makes me so happy. Let's have a little look at some of these units and then I'll start the battle. Ooh, these have their own shield wall formation. Look at the armour on them. Oh, the shields as well, so cool. Then we've got our Triarii here. Triarii in formation. I like their helmets. Oh, yes. There we go. Showing off for me there, aren't they? The Hastati, not much to see there, and we've got a load of archers as well. Let's get on with the battle. Uh, where are they going to be? So they're staying back there. Could we get set up here, do you think? I, I very rarely play the Teutonic campaign, so I don't know all of the strats here. Uh, but let's let's try and get our archers set up on the high ground. And it's got the full Rome Total War soundtrack, I think, in here. So it really is the full Rome 1 experience at this point. Okay, archers are on the high ground. Are they in range? Nah. Unless they're going to come to us, of course. They're coming forwards with their skirmishers. Yep, archers can now start firing. So let's hopefully we, hope we get some kills in here. Given it's for skirmishers, I'm also going to charging the cav. Yeah, stop firing that for now. 
let's just run down the skirmishers. If you hate the Rome remaster, if you can't stand the UI, maybe this is the mod for you. If you want a new experience of Rome, I do highly advise it. It will all be linked down below. And yes, you heard that right, it is all linked down below. Because as I will show you later, it's not just Rome 1 Total War. There is so much more to show off here. Right, that's their silly skirmishers dead and out of the way with. Get back on fire at will, and let's charge into the backs of these. I just want to try and work them up a bit, hope they'll chase us. Uh, blowing the horn doesn't actually have the same effect in this mod, does it? Nah, because it's medieval too, so it doesn't pull back. It is literally just a morale effect. Will they attack? Come on guys, I know you want to attack. Nah, it looks like we're going to have to bring our archers a little further forwards. But that's okay. Her start team position, archers in position, and now we fire at them on the side. Here we go. Come on, archers, fire. There we go, getting some nice shots in. We've got the blood splatter as well. I don't think that's in the original realm, so that's just another plus here. However, still, same old AI. <laughs> and I like how some of them are also like on the other side of the fence here. Yeah, I didn't know they could do that. And there we go, just taking out the final peasants there with our archers. They didn't put up much resistance, but it is, after all, just a suggester. It is an easy one to take. Well done, soldiers. Good job. So we now take the settlement here. Uh, we'll just occupy it for now, and we cannot build anything, but once we get to 8,000 people, then, yeah, we can build something. Trait increase, plus one chivalry, and also plus one dread. Let's see how long the end turn time is. Very quick. That is very quick, I'm happy with that. And we have a, uh, a mission from the nobles to take Massilia. Yeah, so just to double check, can we actually do it turn one? Yes, we can go to war with the Roman factions, turn one. Okay, good to know. Ooh, I like the little watchtower we've built there. A unique design. What does a fort look like? Oh, I, I do like that little Roman fort. I, I'm assuming each culture has their own unique fort styles as well, and their own watchtowers. Yeah, so if we load in as Carthage here, and you know what, let's uh, yeah, have United Rome and Persia in all of this, and let's have a little look. So the Watchtower, yes, we've got different designs on all of them. Oh, oh I do like that Carthaginian Tower. Uh, what do the mercenaries look like? Yeah, we've got our usual mercenaries in here as well, and Carthaginian Temple of Baal. They also only have one option, it is just a Baal. So this is how United Realm looks. It's basically just all the factions, but under one color, uh, one realm, the Julii. Which, to be honest, if the Romans can have their Civil War turn one, this version might be the better way to play it. Oh, and if you click yes on Persia, that removes Persia, but if you click no, that adds Persia. Okay, so now Persia is out of the mod. Okay, interesting. I do like how that works though. So. I like that it gives you the option. Custom battle time. Uh, let's get into grassy flatlands. No, you know what? I'm going to do a bridge battle. Yeah, the river poor. My favourite Teletubby. And I think we're going to have to be Macedon. Um, and we're up against Parthia. You know what's coming. Uh, let's quickly get Egypt in here as well, because I do want to check them out very quickly. Um, yes, it is a Hellenistic Egypt, so a historically accurate one. Good. Oh, look at all these pink pyjama men. Oh, so beautiful. But how will they look on the battlefield? So there's a very specific reason why I want to check this out, and not just because I have a thing for the pink pyjama people. Phalanxes in Medieval 2 don't really work that right, then they're, they're not a viable option. But in Rome 1, they're overpowered. Oh, he looks so cute! So, in this mod, are they also overpowered? Or not? 
Are these ROM 1 pikemen or medieval 2 pikemen? What engine is it leaning towards for them? Let's get them in position and let's figure it out. Either way, balance of power does not like us. Let's have a little look here at these phalanxes. Yeah, these are the Royal Pikemen, top phalanx units for Macedon. Probably should have used the Spartans, but ah, oh well, too late now. And here come the pink pyjama people. And I've still got so much more to show. Okay, phalanx is down. It calls it spear wall. Are they going to do anything? Do I have to put them in guard mode? Yes, I think you have to put them in guard mode. So if you do play the mod, remember that. But before they get here... Oh, this is beautiful. I love them. I think a lot of people are going to be commenting down below. This is what they wanted from the remastered. And I'm not fully against the remaster. Uh, it's only really the UI that puts me off. But I think a lot of people are definitely going to lean that way. This is stunning. This is more what I wanted to see. And the campaign map as well even looks more like the original. Let's begin. Here they go. Are the phalanxes Rome 1 type of phalanxes? No. No, they are certainly not. We are struggling already. We could... No, no, this is not Rome 1 phalanxes. Okay. So the Greek factions are going to be a lot weaker in this mod. If this was Rome 1, we would be holding them back right now. We'd have killed all, basically everyone in this section at this point. We would not be getting pushed back. And a mass route might actually be about to start soon. But we're getting completely overrun here. Ooh, at least it has this feature. This makes me think. The Greek side of the world is not going to be the same. You will have to play it very, very differently. And I think this is one of the weaknesses of this mod. And one of the reasons why you might prefer the remaster. The remaster, although it does some changes to the phalanxes. The phalanxes are actually... Fairly okay, I'm like, ooh, here we go. Too many people in one tile at once. <laughs> Forces them all up. <laughs> I don't know. Comment down below what you think. Rome 1 on Medieval 2 or Rome 1 Remastered? Or just the original, like, which, which do you prefer out of all three? How do you rank them here? But yeah, when it comes to phalanxes, these are not good phalanxes. I hope the modder can do something about it, but... I doubt it. And yeah, we're getting overrun here. Let's just end the battle. That's so many pink pyjama units on one on my screen. <laughs> I can't even see where my own troops are at this point. It's all just pink. By the way, my new Discord server is live as well at this point. Also linked down below in the pinned comment. And you can pick your Rome Total War faction and Parthia is an option. So you can have your name in bright, luminous pink, if that's how you want it. Okay, we're really fighting to the last man here, because I gave them maximum XP, didn't I? Yep. Oh, my general's dead. And there we go, battle is over. We killed 1,270 of them, to be fair. But if that was Rome 1, that would have been an easy win, so that is the difference. The units are going to fight very differently. So that mod there is Europe Ancient. But as I said, I am not done. We have Rome Total War Deluxe, also linked down below. Let's load in. Ooh, we've got the Rome Total War logo this time. Uh, but this is actually still Medieval 2. Yeah, as you can see, it is a slightly different version. So yeah, let's uh, play as United Rome this time. Uh, Deluxe or Vanilla? Ooh. Okay, so this mod adds five factions to the setting of Rome Total War. The Illyrians, the Belgians, uh, blah blah blah. More stuff I cannot pronounce. Uh, do you wish to re retain them in the campaign? Then click Accept. I accept. So we are now the United Rome. And if we reveal Fog of War here, yeah, we can see new factions. So we got one over here, uh, we got one over here, uh, the Belgians, Denmark, and all of that. 
which I think is very cool. Uh, I don't know what else this mod does. Oh, we can have games in Rome. So far it looks like just the mod we've seen before, but with a load more factions, if you are interested. Ah, uh, okay, I see where I went wrong here. So yes, that is the Imperial Campaign. You get five more factions, and they are all playable as well, on this campaign map here. We have a Provincial Campaign. Mundus Magnus. And as you can see by the map, everything is much larger. Let's load in this time as, yeah, one of the new factions. Ooh, the SPQR is playable as well. Interesting. So yeah, what, what are these? You know what, we'll, we'll load in as the Belgians. So let's go Divided Rome. And, okay, I think everything else is set in here. And yeah, here we are, so a new faction. Let's have a little look. We've got our temples here, we've got roads. Uh, we can build other buildings in the larger settlements. Yeah, like our capital here. We've got our barbarian units. I am curious how their forts and watchtowers look. Yeah, so typical barbarian fort, or watchtower, and the fort is... Ooh, interesting, another custom design. And if we remove Fog of War, as you can see, Mundus Magnus map. Loads of extra territories, mostly rebel settlements, all dotted around. We've got Spain down here, North Africa, Carthage is like four different settlements. Uh, Egypt goes all the way down here, Saudi Arabia. Uh, it does even tap into a little bit of India, I think. But places like Italy, basically the same size. Some changes here and there, but mostly the same size. Uh, same with, yeah, Greece as well, doesn't add any extra settlements. So it's not like it adds more depth into it, it just makes the campaign map wider overall. And this river here, yeah, I thought it, it looked a bit navigable. Is it? Yeah, I think it is somewhat, you can get some ships in here possibly and like sail up and down or something. I don't know, would be interesting to try it out. And of course we have our hidden settlement over here. Uh, again, same cultures, Roman, Hellenic, desert, barbarian and local. And up here the culture, for example, is 80% barbarian, 20% local. But would you believe it if I said I am still not done? There's one more thing I want to show off. And this, I am probably most excited for, to be honest. Barbarian <laughs> Invasion. And we do have a custom campaign that I'll show off after this. So, yeah, let's just load in here as the Western Roman Empire on Medieval 2, because, eh, why not? I'll cover this very briefly, but as you can see, some new settlements are added here and there, but for the most part, it stays pretty much to the original base game. With a bit more of an expanded map showing all of Scotland, because it's the Medieval 2 map. Uh, the characters are also somewhat similar. Uh, there are some changes here and there that I spotted, but for example, yeah, this person is an absolute coward. Negative morale, stats and all of that. Uh, terrified of pagan ways, etc. Uh, we've got all our Western Roman units. The people in flight, the Vandals and the Huns. And let's just reveal the Fog of War here. Uh, yeah, the Franks, the Alemanni, the Romano-British start here in this game in Wales. Could be a fun let's play. Uh, we do have the Moors. These were a faction originally planned to be in the game, but they got cut. Uh, the Vandals are over here, and then the Huns are over here. So let's take this army out of the city and, yeah, march from this way. Hire some mercenaries, and let's end turn. Oh wow, my faction leader died turn one. What's the chances in that? Okay, so the Franks here, they have one settlement. Let's put it under siege. Recruit some mercenaries. End turn again. Everywhere revolts. Yeah, so Messina revolted, Avaricum revolted, Syracuse and all of those. And they do split away and become their own factions as well. Like in the original Barbarian invasion. And lastly... If we attack the Franks here and take their settlement, they are now faction destroyed, but as you can see, they now respawn as a horde faction. So let's just reveal the map one more time here. And here they are, the Franks are now a horde. 
up here. That is so cool. I'm so happy that they added all of that in there. We got the Eastern Roman Empire and everything that you would expect, near enough, in a Medieval 2 mod of Barbarian Invasion. Yeah, a people in flight, the Franks. Let's check out that final provincial campaign. So we have the Age of Justinian. Work in progress, not yet complete. Uh, yeah, I don't think it matters what faction we choose. Let's just load in. A little further on into the start date, 530 AD. And we have already lost, because there's literally nothing here. Okay, I did not expect that. Okay, so this really is not complete to all then. But it should give you an idea of stuff that is on the way, stuff that is coming. And it also lets you know that updates are being made for this mod. I think that is everything. Credit goes to Valerian Legion. Hope I pronounced your name right. And a few other modders as well, shown on screen. I'm going to cover this mod in a lot more detail in future with Let's Plays, streams, AI only campaigns because I am very excited to get into this. But comment down below if you have any other ideas on what else I could do with a mod like this. The installation is very clear and simple. Download it from ModDB, links down below in the description. Then use WinRAR to extract it into your Medieval 2 Mods folder. Go into your Mods folder and just click the EXE. If everything is fine, you should load into the mod. And finally, because I am curious, would you prefer the Rome Remastered to have been more like this, or more like what we got? Let me know down below in the comments. Rome Remastered does have better graphics in my opinion, but this, I think has a better looking campaign map and better looking UI. I think both have advantages and disadvantages about them. Leave a like, subscribe to get notified of more, and I hope to see you in the next one. But for now, Melgon.